a lot of times you see this kind of thing, whistle blows, we boom, we get to our leg attack within a couple seconds, within 30 seconds, within a minute, within a minute and a half, I don't know. When we get to our takedown, coming in, we're going to finish this high crotch. Not going to get into the te technical aspects, even though my brain's telling me to. When we're going to put this guy down here, here's what you're going to see a lot of times. Let's turn. Putting him down. Got him down. Two points goes off in my brain. And now I'm going to wrestle. He's coming to his base. Now I wrestle. Because this is, would be my opinion. What happened there is I was so fired up to get that takedown, and I'm so underconfident in my abilities, and I'm talking about your student athletes, that it was, it was just a relief to get that takedown. I'm ahead. I established pace. I established dominion a little bit. The mat's starting to become mine. I scored the first takedown. <sighs> So we let up a little bit. Or maybe it's just habit. Maybe you have a killer, but his whole life, this killer, when he hits this shot and he's blowing through this guy and he puts him down, he's never learned. This is what he's learned. Come up to your base. Now I start wrestling. As opposed to, I hit, I'm blowing through him, I'm gonna put him down and look at where my shoulder is, look at my feet, he's gonna turn down. He turned down, turn away, whatever. I'm not going to let him. Turn into me, I'm not going to let him. I'm not going to let him. I'm going to slowly cover. If he turns away and beats it, I have a Turk. I'm scoring five. Knees in, straddle the butt. Near shoulder, not far, near shoulder. Pull him into your lap. He turns in. There's your near fall which is going to be a fall, just going to turn into a fall. If I miss it, you know, I'm up 5-0. Probably not going to miss it if you're minded that way, if, you're, if your mind's working that way. Freestyle-wise, boom, I hit. I'm coming up. I drive, drive. I'm driving on my feet. That outside, that backhand's deep. I'm lifting that leg to the outside, or if it gets stuck between, no problem. That stuff doesn't matter. I don't have to be like this to finish. I don't have to be like this to finish. I'm just going to run through him, and I'm going to put him down. Did I score three? No, he didn't expose, so I got one. He's turning down. Right there, we just scored five points. Went directly from high crotch or head to the outside single. Blew through him, driving hips through, head up, back straight, four-wheel drive with the feet, or two-wheel drive with the feet, all-wheel drive, put him down on the mat, I put him down on the mat, he's turning down, I catch him with that shoulder, see that shoulder? If he turns down, turn down, and I let that shoulder slide, I miss everything. So you gotta hook him with that shoulder, He's trying to turn down. I got that deep weight. I got that shoulder. I'm going to take him through. He's going to roll all the way through. Right into my gut. I'm going to keep my momentum coming. And right there, again, that's a great example of philosophical wrestling or transitional, the philosophical definition of transitional wrestling. We applied both styles, same principle.